Hi guys, this is Mohammed P, a tutor on check.com. Today we are talking about first and second derivative tests. So we use the first derivative test in order to find the extremas. And then we use a second derivative test in order to determine those points are either maximum or minimum. So let's just start looking at this function. f of x equal x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. So uh, first, I'm trying to find the critical numbers or the extremas. So I take the derivative of the function. So 3x squared plus 4x minus 4 equal to 0. Now, uh, by setting it equal to 0, I'm trying to find the extrema. So I use the quadratic formula. x is equal minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So the b is 4, a is 3, and the c is negative 4. So if I uh, plug in this formula, I would get negative 4 plus minus 4 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 4, all over 2 times 3. So x would be equal negative 4 plus minus here is 16, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 4 is going to be 48. So I have 16 plus 48 all over 6. So it's negative 4 plus minus. So 16 plus 48, that's 58, and then 64. Nice number, 6. So we get negative 4 plus minus 8 over 6. So this gives me two values. Negative 4 plus 8 divided by 6 is 2 thirds, and negative 4 minus 8 divided by 6 is negative 2. So I got two critical numbers or two extremas here. Now I'm gonna, that was the first derivative test that we are basically um, founding, uh, finding the extremas. Uh, if you want, you can actually use a table. That's basically part of first derivative test that you determine where the function is increasing or decreasing and then based on that you can find it's either max or mean. So I have negative 2 and 2 third. So uh, if I choose uh, three numbers from one from each interval, let's say I choose negative 3 here, I choose 0 here and I choose 1. If I plug in negative 3 into the uh, derivative, the result is going to be a positive. If I plug in 0, I would get negative, and if I plug in 1, I would get positive. So it means the function is increasing here in, in the interval of negative infinity to negative 2, and then decreasing uh, from negative 2 to 2 third, negative, and then uh, 2 third to infinity, that's going to be positive. Okay, now um, since the function is increasing and then decreasing, this is going to be max as you see and we can connect them like this. And here it's going down and then increasing, so that's going to be a minimum. So we figured out that negative 2, that's a max, and the 2 third is a mean. So this is basically uh, the first derivative test that you find the critical numbers and the extremas and uh, based on this table you can determine it's either minimum or maximum. You can determine max and means by the second derivative test that I'm about to do it. So we take the derivative one more time. The second derivative is 6x plus 4. Now I'm gonna plug in uh, negative 2 and the 2 third, the critical values that I found, into the second derivative and determine the sign of the second derivative. So second derivative of negative 2 is 6 times negative 2 plus 4. That's negative 12, 12 plus 4. That's negative 8. That's negative. It means the function is concave down. And whenever you have uh, a downward concavity, that means the point corresponds to a maximum. And if I plug in um, 2 third into the second derivative, I get 6 times 2 third plus 4, I would get um, 8, which is positive. It means co upward concavity. 
and this corresponds to a minimum. As you see, the result that I got from the second derivative test, it totally matches with the result that I got from the first derivative test. So if I want to summarize it, um, when you are using the first derivative test, you don't need to take the second derivative at all. So you just find the critical values, you put it in a table, you determine the sign of the first derivative. Based on the increasing and decreasing of a function, you can uh, determine if they are maximum or minimums. And uh, for the second derivative test, uh, after you found the critical values using the first derivative, you can plug, it, plug them back into the second derivative, as you see, I, I plug them back here and based on the concavity, if it's concave down, it corresponds to a maximum and if it's concave up, it corresponds to the minimum. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, I hope that you all enjoyed and you learned enough. Uh, until the next video, I wish you the best and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.